Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are going to be checking out the old course of HBM by the one and only Artful Dodger. He is the designer and creator of Early1981's Loch Ness. So as you can see, fairways are soft, greens are normal, green speeds medium fast, everything else is left at default in the cans of the Golf and Gods. We've got three tee options. We are going to be playing off the white tees, which are playing 7,722 yards. And as always, for camera flyby purposes, pin set numero uno. I've got very little information about this course here, guys. Um, Artful Dodger does have a flyover on his YouTube channel, so please go and check that out. So, hole one, par four. Playing 497 yards. First hole. Let's go. This is clearly an autumn themed course. Big open fairway here. Looks like a few of the trees will hinder our line of sight though. And it looks like that fairway is going to slope to the right. Pins center of the green. So we should be able to get over the top of these trees, though now we, we see it from an elevated position. Nice. Good opening tee shot, and that should find its way to the centre of the fairway, but I imagine it's going to kick right here. So that's going to leave us, once this stops, a long approach shot, probably a 5 or 6 iron. Right, we're about, uh, 200 yards out here. So we are 200 yards out, down 10 feet, got a 3 mile per hour wind in our favour, so 6 iron's a club for me. Just try to run this right at the flag stick. The ball should turn to the right here. Off this slope. Not happy with my controller today, guys. It's very, very sensitive. It's another really good strike. It's going to go a little bit more right than I had hoped. Runs out fairly well. We're probably going to have about a 20 to 22 foot putt for birdie here. All right, we got a 22 footer. Let's see if we can do that. 22 feet bang on. Green speeds are 156, so they're relatively slow. That should start to turn back. Have we played enough weight? Oh, we have, and that trickles right into the heart of the cup for an opening birdie. So, great start to the round. Current leader, global record, is 7 under at the moment. That's the best round. I think there's been about 200 plays so far. But hole 2, par 4, playing 370 yards. But guys, I have added a new feature to the channel. I do have three or four patrons who can contribute to the channel monthly. Thank you very much for that. But if some of you guys just want to buy me like a coffee or something like that, um, I am going to leave a link to PayPal and you guys could maybe just donate the cost uh, of a coffee, whatever you want to do, just to help maintain the uptake of the channel. All contributions are gladly accepted. So two woods here. Don't have enough fairway. To hit the big dog. Push that slightly to the right as you can see. The wind's reluctantly pulling me back in. And that should kick forward and left just like that. It's going to be no more than a wedge into the game. But not really feeling my swing today, guys. My controller, I keep saying it, is very, very sensitive at the moment. So lob wedge should be a bit bang on here. Wind should take us round to the left. Hopefully we can fire this one right at the pin. Put a fast on that. That's going to take it a wee bit more to the left. And slightly longer. Just like that. But it's going to give us about a 6-7 to seven foot putt for our, another birdie opportunity. 6 foot bang on. It's going to turn to the right. And we do pick up our second birdie of the round for consecutive birdies. The only reason I looked at this, guys, for the global record, it's something I don't really bother with, okay, is just because it's an artful dodger course. And like I say, he is the designer of early 1981's Loch Ness. So we are trying to beat the current global record of 7 under. I would have fancy my chances to beat that quite convincingly after the start we've had. I'm going to have to come down to 2... Iron here, two woods gonna have far too much club. Just deal off this a touch, get it running up that slope. I'm gonna try and actually put a fast on this as well, just for a few extra yards. We've achieved the fast, we've pushed it slightly right, which is really gonna help us out here. I would imagine it will still come up a little bit short. Oh, why no, it's not. What a fantastic shot that is, and that is a beautiful par three with a castle. Or fort, whatever it is in the background. So an eight foot putt. Uphill, slightly going to turn to the right. 
and that is going to drop for three consecutive birdies. What's a start to the round? We are three under through three holes. But very nice looking course so far, as you would expect from a man of Artful, Dodge, uh, Artful Dodgers talents. Hole number four, long par five, playing 584 yards. Looks like this is going to be a dog leg left. Uh, like I say, I've got no background story to this course, guys. Artful's released very little information about the course. And as I speak, I'm just sipping my coffee there. That green is well protected by bunkers. I imagine they are going to be in play here. So just applying a touch of draw. Fairway is down below us here. That's a better swing. That draw just taking it round. And this should kick forward maybe slightly right here. We may be able just to reach the green in two. 270 yards. We've got a favourable wind here. That bunker with that elevation would kill us. So we're going to have to come left here. I'm just lofting this up. Applying a touch of fade here. Just to try and bring it back. Oh, it's a dirty swing. I've pulled it left. And with that. It's totally counteracted the fade, but it is going to kick on to the green. We're probably going to have about a 30 to 40 foot putt for Eagle here. 39 feet, down one foot. The greens do have a good challenge to them, especially from distance. Well, break harder to the right here. I tell you what, this is on track. That should turn back. What a putt that is, guys, for Eagle from 39 feet. And with that eagle, we really improve our score. And we are currently five under through four holes. We are two birdies off of eagle and the current global record of seven under. So what a start to this round. Hole number five, very rare that you see consecutive par fives. It's playing 559 yards. This time dog leg right. But what a beautiful looking course. Once again, we've got the fort or the castle off there in the distance. It's probably the clubhouse as well, to be honest. I do feel it's got like a medieval theme to this this course. A lot of old structures. Just looking to get a good tee shot here. Once again, not the cleanest of swings. It is going to find the fairway though, and it will probably kick a little bit to the left. Uphill fairway there. And we are going to have another long shot into this green here. There's par 5. Should be able to reach this. That 9 mile per hour wind's going to hold us up. Slope's going to take us to the left. Ah, oh, I've put a fast in it. It's going to go long and left now. That will really run past the flag stick now. Ah, uh, disappointed with that one. We are on the green for an eagle, though. It is going to be another tricky eagle putt. Probably similar distance from the previous hole. 27 feet, down 3 inches. This one's going to turn... Quite severe to the left, especially with the downhill element. Don't want to play this too firm. Allow the slope and the contours to do the work. Ah, uh, we've not allowed enough for the break. And we do just come up a little bit short. But we should be picking up another birdie here. We've probably got about a three feet putt. Three foot are bang on. And we do drop that right into the heart of the cup for the easier for birdies. And we do move to six under. Through the first five holes. What a fantastic start to this round. Hole number six. Long par four. Playing 509 yards. But very nice looking course here. Plays fantastic also. So with this wind... Just setting us down the right-hand side of the fairway, hoping the wind's going to bring us back more towards the centre. It's a better swing line, but still not swinging as straight as we're capable of. Probably about hybrid left into this long par four. 213 yards, six feet down, into a seven-mile-per-hour wind. Once again, I'm looking to play a deliberate fast here, I think, just to get me that required distance. This ball will move to the right here. So looking to put on a fast. 
don't like how this club's coming back today at all. My analog stick, guys, is really, really... There's the fast, but I pushed it a wee bit to the right as well. We've got fast, fast, actually. Tell you what, if that sits down, it's actually not a bad attempt. It may come back off this little slope here. It's going to leave us a downhill putt for birdie. An 18-footer, down four inches. To be honest, I'm quite surprised that didn't come back towards the cup a little bit. But once again, tricky part. This is going to break severe to the right. That looks good if it tur Oh, it just turns a little bit too much. And we just trickle past the right edge. And we are going to pick up a solid par there, though. So we mean it's six under. Six under through six holes. Can't ask for much better than that. Hole number seven, par three, playing 247 yards. Green is sandwiched in between two ponds there. Nice water features. The par three so far, absolutely stunning, by the way. Once again, going to have to come down to the two iron. A five mile per hour wind should take us right to the right. See if we can fire this right at the flag stick. I do apologize about this, guys. It is I know what will happen. I'll get a perfect slow. The way my controller is feeling. Oh, no. Just like that. I tell you what. That could be in the water. We're going to be very lucky to avoid the water here. Get up. Get up. Oh, just kicks. And stays up. But yeah, that's what's happening with my controller. It is now so sensitive. That I am getting a lot of perfect slows. If I don't get my swing bang on. And we're having to focus with that. I'm kind of taking my focus off my swing line. And that's why we're getting a few squiggly lines today. That needs to check up. Decent recovery. All right, Hopefully we can save the par here. A straightforward putt to be honest. Six feet down three inches. Just going right side of the flag. And we do well. Very fortunate. Very, very fortunate to get par there. Because we could have easily went in the drink off of that tee shot. So we remain at six under. Hole eight, par four. Playing 478 yards. And this is a beautiful looking hole. The water is cutting into the fairway here. Really like this hole here. Really enjoying the course so far as well, guys. Artful Dodger is one of my go-to designers whenever he releases a course. Really top designer. He's not been active recently, so it's great to see him release a course. There's a far better swing. That's going to make its way right down the center of the fair. It's another perfect slow, though. I was thinking, how come that's coming down so quickly? Still managed to take it 274 yards, so we're going to leave ourselves... A longer shot into this green. That wind should take us round. The green kicks to the right also. Disappointed with a few of my swings today. Tempo and swing light. Decent. Wind's taking us round up. Needs to come down. It's going to be a bit long, I would imagine. Looks like we could have a makeable birdie putt here, though, because the green didn't look as if to, it broke too much. No, it doesn't. 17-footer. This one's going to turn to the right. Just need to play this a nice weight. If it holds its line now, that's in. It does hold its line. And we do pick up another birdie, and we move to seven under par through the first eight holes. So hole number nine, final hole. Of the front nine's a par four, playing 407 yards. Once again, that castle or fort is coming into view off in the distance. I do apologise. That's my coffee now finished, guys. So you won't hear any further slurping. Really like that fort. The drawbridge is, is pulled up. Looks like it's a bit derelict. Probably more like a ruin. In an active castle or fort. Did you just use 
for his hammer. It's a better swing. Just kidding. That was a big drive. And that is going to make its way up this uphill fairway. Just breaking a 300 yard mark. Okay, so we have about 115. So 150. Yards, well, let's say 116 yards. It's going to deal off the sandwich. This wind should help us out a little bit. We will get a fairly firm burn tight here. And that's a good approach shot. Within about 10 feet, should be looking to drop this. 8 footer. Once again, very little movement here. And we do pick up another birdie. So a fantastic front nine. We are 8 under through the front nine. Let's see if we can continue this vein of form into the, the back nine. So if we were just to finish level par in the back nine now, we would go in with a new global record beating the current one by one shot. But you know me, I'm looking for at least 13 under here after this round, depending on how the back nine plays. But anything can happen because my swing's really inconsistent at the moment. But another long par four, 496 yards. Setting this down the left-hand side, letting the wind do the work and bring us back. Fairway is way below us. There we go. It's a better swing. Wind's uh, so taking us back right to the centre of the fairway. This should run out well for us. I think it's a really good decision from Artful Dodger to make these fairways soft because otherwise with some of these downhill fairways, if the fairways were firm, you're going to be driving way in excess of 330, 340 yards depending on the wind. So just looking for 7 iron here, really lofting this up, hoping the wind's going to bring us around and we're looking to land this at the right hand side. Just going to deal off the 8 iron, 7 iron still had too much club there for my liking. It's going to go a wee bit more left but the wind should bring us, so that's going to come up short. That's not going to have the legs to get there. Just didn't deal off that enough. Another two touches down on the D-pad for deal off there, and that would have been ideal. But we've got a 36-foot putt down three inches. Once again, breaking both ways, but it's going to break more to the left. Don't think we've played that firm enough. No, really under-hit that putt, probably by about seven feet. Six-footer. Had the line to, just didn't play it firm enough. And we do pick up a par and remain at 8 under par. So, hole number 11 looks like it's the final par 5 of the course. And it is a monster par 5, playing 616 yards. This one is a dog leg left. What a length of par 5 this is. Very nice looking hole though. Once again, a lot of these holes are very, very simplistic, but very, very effective. Very nice to look at. Play very realistic. Once again, I've pulled that slightly to the left. And with that, we're going to be way over on the left-hand side of the fairway, but it's a nice kick back right into the, the left centre of the fairway there. Never reaching this in two. But imagine this is going to be a two wood and then a pitch shot. Nice. There we go. There's a laser beam. Need to see more of that today. We've not seen enough of that today. It's probably only about our second one of the round. And with that, we are going to have a pitch shot. So let's see if we can maintain that level of swing accuracy now. It's going to deal off this. Certainly want to be the left side of the flag here. So we're aiming a good bit left. Oh, I've pulled it slightly left. Yardage should be decent. Should run out a wee bit. Yardage is really, really good. Nice. We're probably looking about a seven foot putt for birdie. Eight footer. This one's got a fair bit of test on it though. The greens are quite challenging. But it's another well-read putt. Drops on the edge. 
and we do pick up our first birdie of the back nine and we move to nine under par. Hole number 12, par three, playing 250 yards. So the par threes are long and they're really in between clubs. There's another structure behind, behind the green. Is that like a, a hangman's noose or something? I don't know. Like I say, certainly has a medieval feel. Two woods too long. Two iron. We're going to have to deal off this. And we're going to have to cut through the fringe in that light rough to get near this. So that's what I'm looking to do. Try to sting this through the rough and get it running right up towards the pin. Oh, that's a beautiful execution. I tell you what, this could be close. We've done exactly what we said we should do. It's just going to check up a little bit short. But what a golf shot that is. And if you haven't already done so, guys, please spam that like button. And we are going to be rewarded with the simplest of six-foot putts for birdie. Nice. That does drop, and we do move to ten under par. What a golf shot that was, though. There's no better feeling than calling out a shot and executing it just like that. Hole number 13, it's another long par four. Playing 501 yards. So I do get the feeling that Artful's tried to create a course here that's going to be challenging. At the moment, we're playing well. A few dodgy swings, but for 90% of the round, I tell you what, this is a tough approach shot. That is going to be a tough approach shot. Let's just focus on getting this on the fairway here. It's a downhill fairway. Ah, I've pulled it left again. Wind's kind of bringing us back. We need a kick here to the right. We get it. But this is going to be a challenging approach shot. I think we're going to be way in between clubs. It's a tough pin location. So 17 feet below us. We've got an 8 mile per hour wind. 8 iron's going to have to be the club. I'm going to have to strike this clean. Ah, I've pulled it left again. I'm with that. It's going to kick long and left now. We'll get a firm kick out here just like that. And that is going to leave us a very challenging putt for birdie. We are probably about 40, 50 feet away from the cup. 40 feet. So, it's uphill. We can play this far. Certainly turn into the left. Really disappointed with that two last swings. Tell you what, is it going to turn? Is it going to, oh, it just comes up short. And I think we had the ideal line there. I think we had the ideal line. We did. But we do make sure off the par. And I'm quite pleased to walk away with par there. We deserve par with that tee shot and approach shot. The hole number 14. Shortest par four, I think, of the round so far. Playing 417 yards. But as always, guys, thank you very much to my subscribers and viewers for the continued support on the channel. I have been going through a hard time personally this year and I would say you guys in this channel is one of the reasons that keeps me perked up and keeps me positive. So I really appreciate all the, the interactions with you guys. It's a bit of a better swing. Still a few squiggly lines there but it's a perfect perfect. It's going to land right in the middle of the fairway. And with that slow and uphill fairway, we only drive that 288 yards. So 122 yards, up 9 feet. So it's 125 yards into the wind. So we're really going to have to deal off this. Looking to land this right in line with the flag. I'm really going at the flag stick here. We do have an uphill elevation. Ah, uh, look how far right that's going. Ooh, it looks like you're be wow, I only pushed that minimal yardage is bang onto to the right. Look at that swing light. But when you do start to tamper with a loft and de loft, the slightest of errors are going to punish you. 16 footer. That needs to turn. It is turning, and it's another good putt. And we do pick up 
another birdie and we move to 11 under par so all being well we are going to be walking off this course with the, the current global record hole 15 it's another long par 4 playing 510 yards Very nice looking course, guys. This is another course that you would gladly go and play another tee or pin location or try and beat your previous score. Seven mile per hour wind in our favour, so we should be knocking this past 300 yards. That's really going to kick down this fairway. Probably kick a little bit to the, the right as well. 324 yards, so we've really cut a good bit of the distance out of this long par 4. I'm going to have to come down to 7 iron. 184 yards up 9 feet. Not going to touch this at all, just going to let the wind do the work. I think this is a bang on club. It's a good swing. Everything's within the line. This should be decent. It should start to turn a little bit towards the club, uh, the club, the cup. Just a little bit long. Good stuff. But some of these pins are very, very challenging to get near, especially on these long par fours. It's a 13 foot putt. This one is going to turn to the left. Come on, turn, turn, hold your line now. And it's another birdie. Sitting at 12 so we move to 12 under par. Hole 16, it's another long par 3, but it's a beautiful looking par 3, it's an island par 3, and there's Artful Dodger's trademark with the plants and the colours, I think it's the first time we've seen it in this course. So this one's really downhill, 7 iron again for me is the ideal club, wind will help us out slightly, I've pushed that right. And it is going to go to the right more than I would have liked. Yardage is going to be bang on. That might turn towards towards the cup again. Yardage was absolutely spot on. Just that little bit of push. But once again, we've got a makeable putt from 10 feet here. This could put us to 13 under par. Needs to turn. It does turn. And our putter has been red hot this back night. We do move to 13 under par with two holes to play. Hole, coming up. hole number 17. This is the shortest par four. Playing 387 yards. But what an enjoyable course this is. I don't think it's Artful Dodger's best course. But it's certainly a fantastic course that I will enjoy playing again at some point. We're going to have to play two iron here. I do believe there is a fair challenge to this course. I mean, obviously, I've had mild to medium winds. I think our highest winds being about nine nine mile per hour. So it's not as if we've had high winds to deal with. Nice. But I think for the majority, we've played well this round. Once again, we're going to have a lob wedge. But this is a course, mark my words, it is going to punish it if you do not play well. And you will be rewarded for good shots like you've seen. That's decent execution. That should be all over this. That should be all over this. That's a good shot. And we're probably going to have about a 6-7 to seven foot putt for birdie number 14 hopefully. I have noticed that anything within 6-7 feet. The greens are fairly straightforward. Anything past 10 feet. You're going to be asked questions if you're your pattern challenge or knowledge, should I say. So final hole of the old course of HBM is another long par 4, playing 509 yards. To be honest, if I walk away with par here, I'm a happy man. I will take 14 under. I'm sure some people will beat that. For me, first time playing this course from the back tees. Very, very happy with that. Despite not swinging as well as we can. So we've got an 8 mile per hour wind. It's going to apply a touch of draw here. That should work out well. 
It should give us a nice angle to go and attack this green, but it's probably going to have to be a two-way. I'm probably going to have to play two-way into this. Two iron just doesn't get there with that pull elevation and a wind. So we're going to have to loft up this two wood. I think we're still going to be long. That wind and the slope is going to push us. Oh, I've pushed it right. Oh, we could be in trouble here. Oh, look at that kick. Oh, why? What a horrendous shot. On the plus side, we get a nice view of the clubhouse there. 32 yards. 76 to 83. I'm going to have to deal off this a touch. And just hope this runs out well for me. It is uphill, so it should check up. Look at that swing line. I put it fast. Is it going to check up? It's not checking up at all. Oh, wow. Look how far past that's went. We're probably... Ah, there's no probably about it. We are probably most definitely going to be picking up our first bogey of the round. That's really disappointing. Let's see if we can save this par though. 27 footer up one foot. It's going to turn to the right. Oh, it's online. Go on, get in. Get Oh, we didn't play it firm enough and we are going to finish with a bogey and drop back to 13 under par. But there you go, guys. We have smashed the current course record, which was seven under. But what a fantastic course. I really enjoyed that. There's a good bit of challenge in that. Despite not playing well, we'll take our 13 under. It just shows that course knowledge is more important in your swing so that's a favorite and a five star that is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button if you're new to the channel hit subscribe button until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye